Concept maps are a great way of creating a research plan. It's not really going to be an outline of your research, but more brainstorming. So thinking about all the possibilities of where you might go with your research. Some of the ideas you'll eventually throw out, but some you may keep. If you're unfamiliar with your topic, you're going to want to use some of the reference works that we've talked about, like Gale Virtual Reference Library, or Up to Date, or CQ Researcher, or Opposing Viewpoints, to pick up some other terms that might help you search this topic, and some of the issues related to this topic. So I'm writing a paper on pertussis, which I know is also called whooping cough, and it's also called the 100 day cough. So it's important to go ahead and search for synonyms because those synonyms will give you other terms to search under to pick up all the possible articles on it, whether the author used pertussis in the article or whooping cough or the 100 day cough. So that's where our concept map starts. Then I want to start thinking about the subtopics under there. So one of them might be complications. And I know that the complications from this include pneumonia, encephalopathy, and seizures. And I'm not going to spell all of those out because that's just a waste of time. As long as I can remember what I'm talking about. I also might want to talk about how it can be prevented. There is a vaccine for whooping cough that most of you probably had. Now, of course, there's a lot of controversy over vaccines right now. One, because of autism. There's some concern that the vaccinations will cause autism. And two, there is a worry that the pertussis vaccination in particular causes brain damage in a small population of those who get vaccinated. So I'd want to talk about brain damage as well. I want to talk about it's contagious and the fact that it's contagious for weeks. That's why this one's so dangerous in many ways. It can be spread by coughing. It can be spread by sneezing or just coming into contact with the germs. If your little brother has it, if somebody else in your family has it, or you're on a college campus and somebody has it. Now, it's mostly going to affect, and what I mean by affect, I mean by killing people, um, infants. A lot of people will get pertussis, but infants are particularly susceptible and many will die from pertussis if they contract it. So we can talk about the incidence of it. And I'm kind of getting out of my screen here. So 48.5 million people are affected by it worldwide each year and 300,000 people die from it each year. So those are two topics I'd want to talk about as well. So I might also want to talk about the fact that it's a bacterial infection, which means antibiotics can be used once you get it. But you'll still be infectious for quite a while. So I know this concept is really messy and part of the reason is I'm using a really wide tip pen. This should give you a basic idea of what a concept map entails.